Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from Synapse. Uh, this is the five film collector shit edition of the Violent Shit Collection. Yeah, <laughs> I had heard about these movies for years. I actually uh, saw part one when I was about 13 years old, a good chunk of it, uh, on a bootleg VHS in Zombie 90. Uh, when I was 13 years old, I decided that that was enough for me. Uh, so, you know, I had never caught them. I always figured they were just really shellacky B-movie splatter, uh, B splatter shot on video German films. So I was like, you know, if they're anything like One or Zombie 90, I'll pass. Man, I made a big mistake on that. Uh, yeah, these movies are shot on video, uh, except the fourth one which is newer, 2010, uh, and uh, these are actually, um, you know, these, they put them in widescreen on the disc, which is definitely not their original aspect ratio. I'm not necessarily sure uh, that was a direct decision or a company decision. They're shot on video, so, you know, they're not going to look great regardless of what uh, aspect ratio they're in. Uh, and also, I believe uh, the first one had, a, was it 99 Red Balloons or one of those cla uh, a classic songs that's been cut out, of course. But yeah, let's get into this. Violent Shit 1, uh, Rewatching this one. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot more. I've seen a lot more German splatter and you know some bad ones some good ones and everything in between such what we have here is carl the butcher escapes uh in a mental inst uh met out of a mental institution basically on the way in transit and he escapes into the woods and he uh roams the uh woods hacking and slashing and mutilating anyone he comes in contact with uh it's dubbed in german i mean it is in german and the subtitles are absolutely ridiculous it, they're in on the joke the characters are stupid they're assholes they're jerks whatever uh you get the point uh he hacks and slashes them the effects are uh, you know german splatter uh so they're cheap, but they're they're effective, and uh, a lot of some inventive stuff in here. I, I kind of enjoyed it. It gets surreal. It gets really weird at the end. Uh, in the, throughout the film, he talks to Satan. He talks to Jesus. He has immaculate conception and gives birth to a child. Yeah, ridiculous movie. All around okay. It does stop at points to introduce characters that are just going to die in seconds, and you're like, I don't know why this is happening, but hell, it is what it is. It's violent shit. Uh, the title, you know, you know what you're getting, some violent shit. Number two, uh, Mother Come Hold My Hand uh, follows the story of Carl Jr., and uh, his spree of killing. And uh, his mother, he's basically trying to impress his mother going around hacking and slashing everyone he comes in contact with. This one has uh, better effects, it's bigger, it has more kills, a lot of weird, crazy torture scenes. Some of the effects in here may be cringe, they're really gross, uh, including a, a hook going through a testicle, really brutal stuff. But again, it has the, you know, the ridiculous subs where everybody's a retard and Carl's got these, Carl Jr.'s got these ridiculous dumb one-liners. He's a, he's kind of a half-wit. But there's also some real cool squibs going off in this movie, which I, I, I was impressed by. And uh, all in all, I mean, these aren't, these aren't A-list movies. They're Z-grade uh, German splatter, but... Uh, the second one was really enjoyable for what it was. Uh, lots of cool big moments uh, and massacres, including one in a theater and uh, one at a construction site that kind of, uh, you know, uh, impressed me and made me a little bit, you know, excited for it. Although there is some really graphic stuff in here, too, that it might be <laughs> gross out some stuff. They all are pretty gross, to be honest. Uh, the third one, Violent Shit, Infantry of Doom. This one's amazing. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I don't know how one gets to two and two gets to three. Uh, it's all pretty ridiculous, uh, but this movie opens up with a, a, group, a trio of uh, vacationers that get stranded on this island, and they got they get stranded on the long, wrong island, let me tell you that. Essentially what we have is Carl the Butcher now runs this island like some sort of dictator. He has an army of uh, uh, crazed killers and uh, a scientist creating zombies, so the island's flooded with zombies and uh, crazy killers all wearing the same, shot, uh, same mask that Carl the Butcher wears. <laughs> And uh, what essentially what happens here is these people have to go on a, a survival game and they meet up with, a, well, they are teamed up with an exiled karate expert and a couple of his friends and they have to go through the woods fighting zombies and fighting bad guys until the big giant, uh, you know, climax at the end, uh, explosions, fighting, kung fu, ridiculous deaths. I'm talking deaths so ridiculous people are cut directly in half. The effects are over the top. They're fun. It's not really like the first two. It's the best of the bunch. It's a, it's a blast. Uh, you'll have a lot of fun. Kind of reminds me of, you know, early, if I have, uh, Peter Jackson or Sam Raimi made shot on video crappy movies, uh, then this is exactly what it would be like. I really love the third one, to be honest. I think the the price of admissions worth two and three alone. Uh, let me get into part four, Carl the Butcher vs. Axe. This was also uh, when uh, the director, Andreas Schnaz, I believe he says his name, teamed up with a... Uh Sorry, Timo Rose, uh, who does the splatter films of his own. And uh, yeah, uh, this is made in 2010. The first was made in 89. Let me see when the second one was made here. 92, and the third was made in 99. And the fourth was made in 2010. So there's an 11-year gap here. So, you know, the style of filmmaking completely changed. Everything completely changed. The landscape. Uh, yeah, there's some bad digital effects in here. The gore's good, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of exposition. And uh, the last thing you want in a violent shit movie is too much exposition. You really don't care about the characters. The acting's really lousy. It's the first one spoken in English, so it's really crummy. 
crummy acting and over the top. Uh, you know, over the top can be fun, but this is what happens when over the top acting goes bad. Uh, there's some fun moments when uh, Carl the Butcher gets super buff is really funny. Uh, and there's a there's a giant war at the end, but by then I really didn't care. It, it kind of has the the deal where they keep him uh, in, in like him bringing in these new characters way too late in the game and they all get their names. It's like a bad Tarantino script. And those are some of the worst bad movies when everybody's doing like Tarantino dialogue, but they have like, uh, you know, amateur acting hour in it. It's just, it's painful. And uh, it hurts me to not like it because I it, it was building up to be great, great. It was like, okay, good, great. And then in the fourth one, such a letdown to me. Uh, there's really bad uh, sound effects as well. So, you know, I, I wanted to like it, just I thought it was really crummy. Uh, the final movie on here is Zombie 90, made, I believe, after the first Violent Shit, well, yeah, in between Violent Shit 1 and 2. Uh, Zombie 90 Extreme Pestilence, uh, this is actually the dubbed version, the comical American dub version. I never saw the sub version, uh, but this movie is pretty awful, to be honest. The dialogue, the dubbing is so over the top it's supposed to be. Uh, it's just stuff that's like second grade humor. It's not very funny. Uh, the one guy speaks in this really... Uh, uh, exaggerated homosexual accent, and the other one uh, speaks in this uh, obviously trying to be an African American accent, and they're both just two white guys that don't look like they'd have that voice at all, or act physically like they would have that voice at all. But uh, it's so over the top; it's trying to be funny. It uh, to me, it's not funny. Some people may enjoy it. Uh, the gore is not as good as violent shit, so there's that on there. So it's not funny, and it's not that as gory as the other ones. So I just was really bored with throughout the movie. But uh, there's a couple inventive kills, like uh, the camera's inside a car window, back window, and the axe comes to the zombie's head and smashes it into the window. Enjoy that kind of stuff, but definitely guerrilla style filmmaking, some bad cuts, some bad edits, you know. A lot of this is amateur hour, but you know, this one is particularly worse. And when he, in Violent Shit 3, he peeked out, he was doing all these clever camera tricks and stuff. Like, it's just clever, fun stuff, reverse and stuff. I, I love the hell out of it. But uh, this one I thought was a little worse. It was made, you know, right after Violent Shit. So, And uh, then there's some bonus features for uh, Carl the Butcher on here. The premiere, which is a concert, some behind the scenes here and there, and a teaser and trailer. So all that for about 15 bucks on Amazon. You can't really go wrong uh, with that. But yeah, uh, I'd say check it out, especially if you like shot on video movies or if you like... Uh, you know, cheap stuff or splatter. It's a must, especially for the price. Uh, it's worth it for Violent Shit 2 and 3, and, you know, give one a spin, too. But, uh, yeah, these are, you know, I guess I'll say, dare I say, classics in the splatter world, most certainly. But uh, this director would go on to do Anthropophagus 2000 and some other one, Nico's the Impaler. So, you know, he, he's been in the splatter uh, game for a long time. So, yeah, this is a nice set from Synapse. Again, like I said, it's region all. But uh, it is in widescreen, so if you if it bothers you that they changed the original aspect ratio, uh, you know you you I don't know maybe hold on to your old DVDs. I'm not sure if they're in the original aspect ratio, but they don't include part four, and they I don't think they include Zombie ninety. So yeah, uh, check this out from Synapse Films. Uh, there's a written review on Demons of Celluloid Blogspot if you want to check it out for me, and uh, yeah, have a good one.